Good day everyone. Today, I will be discussing to you the definitions and theorems on triangles. So, let's start with our first definition. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So, if you're going to get the sum or the sum total of the angles in a triangle, that is 180 degrees. Using the definition, let's solve for x. For number 1, we know that this is a right triangle. We have a perpendicular line here, so that measures 90 degrees. We need to solve for x. So using the theorem, so x plus 90 plus 45 is equal to 180 degrees. Now, x plus 90 plus 45, that is 135 degrees, or simply 135. x is equal to addition property of equality, so 180. I will subtract 135 on the left, then subtract 135 on the right, 135. So x is equal to 45 degrees. If you can solve mentally, then you don't need to show your solution. So, 135 plus 45, 180. Next, number two. So we have the given 110 and 35, then x. x plus 110 plus 35, their sum is 180 degrees. Now, combine 110 plus 35, that is 145 is equal to 180. Again, addition property of equality, subtract 145 to both sides, so 180 minus 145. Or if you want, this is also well known as transpose. If you have a positive sign on the left, move it on the right, change the sign. So x is equal to... 35 degrees. 185 minus 145, 35 degrees. Okay? Next, we have this triangle and the given 70, 65, and x. So x plus 70 plus 65 is equal to 180 degrees. x plus 70 plus 65, 135 is equal to 180 degrees. So we have x is equal to 180, addition property of equality, or let's move to the right, change the sign, 135. So x is equal to 180 minus 135 is 45 degrees. So x is 45 degrees. That is our first definition. Now we have letter B. An equilateral triangle has three congruent sides. So if we're going to draw the equilateral triangle, so it can be like this one. Okay? So all the sides have the same measure. Okay. So if this is 6 cm, therefore, the remaining sides also measure 6 cm. Can also be like this one. So all the sides are equal. Okay. That is the equilateral triangle. Equi means equal, lateral means sides. So all the sides are equal. Next, letter C. A triangle with two congruent sides is called isosceles triangle. So we have two congruent sides. Let's say this side is equal to this one. So that's what I would call the isosceles triangle. So if this is 8cm, since that is an isosceles triangle, the other side is 8cm also. We have another triangle, 
let's say this side is equal to this side, if this is x, this also measures x. And lever D, isosceles triangle theorem. Base angles of isosceles triangle are congruent. So we have triangle. If this is equal, therefore the base angles are also equal. If this is x, the other base angle is also measures x. If this is 50 degrees, therefore this is also 50 degrees. Now, what if this is the missing, the vertex angle? So, using our definition earlier, the sum of the measures of the angles on a triangle is 180, so this is 80 degrees. So, adding the three angles measures 180. So, just connect all the theorems and definitions about the triangle. Now we have the exterior angle of a triangle. An exterior angle of a triangle is an angle that forms a linear pair with an interior angle of a triangle when a side of a triangle is extended. So let's say we have our triangle. Okay. Now, where can we find the exterior angle? So if we're going to extend one side, so this will be our exterior angle. Let's name it angle X. Now, let's say this is our angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3. In our definition, it will form a linear pair. So if we're going to add measure of angle 1 plus the exterior angle, let's say measure of angle X, that is equal to 180 degrees. Now, if our given is, let's say, this is x and this angle measures 40 degrees what will be the measure of our x so we have 40 plus the measure of angle x is equal to they will form a linear pair 180 so measure of angle x is equal to 180 addition property of equality so minus 40 so measure of angle X is equal to 140 degrees. That would be the measure of the exterior angle. And we also have the uh, DE, DEF. F, exterior angle theorem. The measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two remote interior angles of the triangle. So let's say we have our triangle and the exterior angle and we have two remote interior angle which will be our given. Let's say this is 50 and the other angle measures uh, 65 degrees. Okay, 50. So what would be the measure of the exterior angle? Let's say x. So the measure of angle x is equal to the sum of the remote interior angle. 50 plus 60. So measure of angle x is equal to 110 degrees. So 110 degrees. If this is 110 degrees, we can get the measure of this angle. So 180 minus 110, that is 70. So 110 plus 70, 180. And applying our first definition, if we're going to add, oh, this is 65. So let us check. Check. So supposedly this is 115, right? 115. So if this is 115, this angle is 65 only. Because 65 plus 115 is 180. Now applying our first definition, the sum must be. 180. So 65 plus 65, that is 130. 
plus 50, 180. Now let us familiarize the sides and angles of a triangle. So let's say we have a triangle SEC. So we can say that angle S is opposite to side EC. Likewise, side EC or CE is opposite to angle S. Next, angle E is opposite to side SC. Likewise, side SC is opposite to angle E. SC is opposite to angle E. And angle C is opposite to angle uh, to side ES. Therefore, side ES is opposite to angle C. So that is the sides and angles of a triangle. So those are the definitions and theorems on triangle. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.